Oh hey guys, what's up? It's Silver 17 here, and today I have the iPhone 5C in the iPod Touch 5th generation. You may be wondering why, and here's why. The Apple event, the WWDC event is tomorrow actually, and they're going to be releasing all the new products. And in this episode, I'm going to be talking about what I think Apple is going to release at the WWDC event and my predictions for Apple moving forward. There have been a lot of rumors about an iWatch coming. Motorola has their watch, Samsung has their watch, Pebble has developed a smartwatch. Everyone has a smartwatch in this game except Apple right now, and I think it's almost a guarantee that we'll see an Apple iWatch at a WWDC event so What are the chances of us having an iWatch? I think they're very high, actually. I think that since everyone else has a watch, I think Apple's going to develop a watch just to keep up in the smartphone and, you know, tablet kind of game that they have going on. I think an iWatch would kind of make a perfect companion to that. Also, I think that with they, how they acquired Beats Audio, I think they actually might implement some speaker system into the iWatch to make it really cool for, like, speech to text and, like, really cool audio and stuff I like that. I think that Apple is going to release two new iPhones of WWDC. A uh, 5.5 inch and a 4.7 inch. I think the iPhone 5C will become a free option for those on contract and will have a reduced price if you're buying it off contract. And I think those two screen sizes will kind of take up uh, the iPhone 5S's place as the mid range entry level Apple iPhone because I think the, uh, the iPhone 5S is going to be non existent or at least you're not going to be able to get it from a carrier in a little while when the two new ones release because it's probably going to be taking its spot as the $99 mid-range That said, what are the chances of this? Well, the chances of this are actually pretty high again. Rumor and speculation has, has uh, you know, generated some things saying that Apple will release two new iPhones, a 4.7 and a 5.5, and you can almost confirm it right now. I bet, I can almost guarantee you that tomorrow they're going to release a 4.7 and a 5.5 inch, and the iPhone 5C is going to become free on contract. I have a fifth generation iPod Touch with me. <clears throat> so as you know the iPod Touch runs iOS 7 but the specs aren't too good. It's an A5 dual cord chip originally seen in the iPhone 4S in about 2011. Now think, this is running a processor from 2011. But wait, it also has 512 megabytes of RAM also what the 4S has. It has the 4S's specs. And as you know, the 4S is going to be like the iPhone 4 running iOS 8. The iPhone 4, 4, 4 was pretty horrible running iOS 7. I think we all can kind of agree that it ran a stripped down version. It was very slow and clunky. I think the iPhone 4S is going to be exactly like that on iOS 8 since it's the lowest end iPhone you have on iOS 8. And I think the iPod Touch, since it has the same exact specs, is going to, you know, perform nearly identical to the to the iPhone 4S and so iOS Should you upgrade to iOS 8 when it comes out for your iPod Touch? My answer is yes. Yes, but there's a big if. If you don't mind sacrificing a little performance. It runs alright on iOS 7. It runs pretty smooth. But once you get to hardcore using, then it slows down a little. And I think it'll slow down just a little bit, but it adds so much functionality to the iPod Touch that I think it's um, it's it's definitely for me. If I were doing it, it'd be a worthy there upgrade. There are some iPad rumors out there. There's some rumors of maybe um a better screened iPad. I've heard. I've heard also. Well, I think there's going to be a definite. This one's going to be an absolute definite. They're probably oh. Uh, they're most likely going to have Touch ID on there. I don't know why Touch ID wasn't on the iPad Air when it was re <clears throat> when it was released. I think that Touch ID is almost an asset now. It's every iOS device or should be coming out later this year. And I also think it's also going to come to the iPad Mini, the iPad Mini 3 or whatever it's going to be called. Uh, names aren't official yet, but now I'm going to be using the terms iPad Air 2 and the iPad Mini 3. And so I think it's going to be... Um, up, up, updated cameras if you guys like to take pictures with your iPads or stuff like that also I think uh, it's gonna be equipped with an A8 processor which is in uh, which is my bad which is which is supposedly going to power the iPhone 6 so yes, I yeah I heard a couple Mac rumors I heard that um the MacBook Pro is said to be getting a touch screen supposedly I'm um, a 12.9 inch or like a 12 inch kind of screen. This is kind of supposed to be in between the 11 inch MacBook Air and the uh, 13 inch MacBook Air or MacBook Pro. Also, I heard there's supposed to be a Retina MacBook Air. In terms of are these things probably gonna happen? 
Honestly, I don't think so. The, the Macs haven't changed too drastically in a very long time. I think it's, I think Apple needs a change, but I really don't think they're willing to change their products because they are actually picking up in sales, if you believe it or like, not. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you like this video and you want to see more of the iPod Touch fifth generation, some of my videos, maybe I'll do a review, stuff like that, benchmarks. Just uh, comment, like the video, subscribe, and I'll I'll take notice. All right, thanks guys. See ya.